Hi, Sagittarius. How you guys doing? How about that opportunity in this first half of November? How did that go? Did you guys find it? Did you guys recognize it? Could have been very small. Could have been just a opportunity to have clarity. Could have been a small opportunity to heal a relationship. I don't know. Um, I know what my opportunities have been. I grabbed them. I've had some very rough times with it. But keeping that positive mind, here we are. We're going to go through the second half of November. I do want to talk about a couple of planetary aspects. There are like three of them, I think. Uh, the 18th new moon in Scorpio, that's your 12th house of your subconscious, your karma, privacy, your past. Um, you could really be doing something of the spiritual nature, like um, building up the ideals of who you truly are. Um, if that opportunity comes along, um, it might be of a more spiritual aspect, which, you know, Sagittarius is really all about spirituality. Um, we are very adult about it. But um, we, you know, like to look at it in a very, it's like a 50-50 thing. Very realistic, very idealistic. Does that make sense? Like, we try not to get wrapped up in the facade of spirituality. Uh, the sun will be in your sign on the 21st. Yay, happy birthday. Um, with the sun in your sign, you're just going to be a magnet to people. You're going to be more popular. Um, this is a really good time to like promote a business, maybe go for um, a promotion. Um, and it, I mean, there could be a lot of healing in relationships, a lot of patch, patching up hurts, past hurts. You know, this is like your once a year time to really like dig in with all of the things that you've dealt with in the last year and work on patching that stuff up. Uh, Neptune is going direct in Pisces. This is your fourth house of home and family. When Neptune is retrograde, everybody tends to be a blather, blabber mouth. Um, there are secrets that have possibly come out. Um, we do a lot of word vomiting, <laughs> but you also get to see like the real side of people, what they really think, what they're really wanting to say, what, you know, sometimes it's a little overboard, but at least, you know, um, when it goes direct, you kind of get that privacy back. Um, you can put your defenses back up. You don't really like blabbermouth so much, but everybody else does as well. So it could kind of be like harder to get in touch with somebody like in a very deep personal way. Um, but you could also like there, you could see more kindness going on, um, more generosity, more feeling like, you know, I mean, it's going to be the holidays too. Um, and that's on the 22nd. So like just in time for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So there, you know, if you use that in a good way and not like shut yourself down, um, you, you know, and these, this is, this will go on until June of next year. So, uh, let's get in. <clears throat> We've got the Six of Pentacles, do balance, and the Ace of Wands. Yay, that really great opportunity that could bring some serious balance to your life. You know, um, you know, like with your the the Sun coming into your sign again, there's going to be a really big opportunity for you to be super popular, and like it's almost like you're going to get things without you even realizing that you were trying to get something that you wanted and it just kind of like appeared. Um, and like this hierarchy system here where you maybe have felt like you've been like begging for attention or um, really like feeling like you've been giving more to others, um, it could really like balance this out. 
Um, and then we have the Chariot. Cool. Three really good cards so far. Cancer card. Moving forward. Um, when the Chariot gets going, it kind of starts off slow. And then it's like super fast paced. It knows where it's, it wants to go. It has a direction. It's also kind of like um, winning a battle. Getting your way. Finally feeling like you have conquered something in your life. <clears throat> so when we've got that balance, we have this really great, fiery, fun time when the sun is in your sign. Um, and we're feeling kind of victorious. Sure, that'll bring some balance to your life. Um, I really think that like in the next month while, you know, Saturn is still in your sign, Ooh, before it goes to Scorpio, <laughs> I mean to Capricorn. That's really funny that this popped out. Um, there might some be, there might be, there might some be, there might be some wars that you're still kind of fighting. Um, the Nine of Wands speaks about kind of just being like defeated and like not wanting to fight a battle anymore, either within yourself or within your external world. And this guy's kind of like looking into the past, looking back at that war, like, man, that really beat the shit out of me. So why look back at it? What lesson did you learn? Learn that lesson, move forward. Why? Because it was a lesson. It was a karmic cycle. Needed to end. And it, it possibly could be like with a relationship, with a job, and it doesn't necessarily have to be like a complete ending. It could just be ending that lesson that you needed to learn knowing that you need to move up in the corporate ladder, knowing that you need to push your business forward, um, knowing that there are relationships in your life that um, really were very karmic and you had to learn from and then possibly heal. You know, sun in your sign. The sun's all about healing. And when you have that, you know, that person that you needed to heal that relationship with could like come back into your life and be like, let's heal this. Let's figure that out, this out. Or you could be the one reaching out because you're gonna feel confident to do that. Very possible. Yes, we are always learning lessons. We're constantly evolving. This karmic cycle does not have to be huge. There are a lot of people that are like, what is this cycle that's ending? What is this new beginning that's coming? Well, it doesn't have to be like, bam, you know, like total new existence, total new life. It doesn't have to be that. It could just be something in your life that needed to come back around full circle. You know, you start something, maybe you started something this year or in the last two and a half years while Saturn was in your sign and you needed to learn that lesson and you needed to forgive people and you needed to move on from situations that were not serving your purpose because you're starting to realize, oh, okay, so I felt really like this was the relationship I was going to have for the rest of my life and I screwed it up I need to apologize and make it right because when we get Saturn into Capricorn it's going to be all about um, your moral values in life like what truly is the moral thing to do who do you need to apologize to who do you need to get an apology from because when we clear that up, Capricorn's gonna say, oh, time to clear it up. Is it with an air sign? Queen of Swords, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra. <laughs> I don't even know why I forgot that. It's my rising sign. Um, woo, air signs. Air signs are very straightforward. They can be very blunt. <clears throat> there we are king of wands hello however we also got the knight of pentacles things are going really slowly yes things are going very slowly jupiter is in your 12th house for the next year yikes jupiter is saying all right we're going to bring up your karma. We're going to bring up your past issues. We're going to bring up your subconscious and your privacy. And we're going to bring it to the forefront. And we're going to make you work on it in a way that you did not think that you wanted to work on it. And since the sun right now 
is also in your 12th house, shedding light on your subconscious, on your karma. What do you need to clear up? The ideals of who you are, who you truly are, get that facade out of your life. Stop pretending. Stop pretending that everything's okay. Stop pretending that you can keep doing the same old thing over and over and over again. Stop being so apathetic. Four of Cups. This is why you're stagnant. This is why you cannot move forward. This is why you feel like the Knight of Pentacles. Because you have sat in this apathetic state. And you have really great things coming. But you got to clear up that karma. Because you want to move forward. You want to do this. You're ready. Ready to get it going. You want to make those pentacles. You want to balance things out. And yet you feel like you've been beat up. Or you're beating yourself up. And you're looking again. Subconscious. Looking into the past. Clear it out. Heal. Could be your childhood. Could be past lives that you need to heal those traumas. Could be relationships that you've had for years and years and years. Or new relationships. <clears throat> what is it that in you that is making you so very apathetic and stagnant? And I'm talking to myself too. I'm a Sagittarius moon. What am I apathetic about? Well, sometimes I'm just like cut out the bullshit. Like I, I am an air sign as well. I'm a Libra rising. Like I don't want people to pretend to me anymore. I don't want people to say one thing and then act another way. Right? Just an example. It makes me very apathetic. It makes me not want to love. It makes my Virgo pull my pull in and be like, no, I'm going to be the hermit to you now because it hurts. It hurts when you feel like you are, and even if, even if like somebody's not recognizing that they're doing that to you, pretending, having a smile on their face. Saying one thing, acting a different way. Or acting one way and not saying anything at all. It hurts. <clears throat> you could be doing that to somebody else because you are so very apathetic. You know, cutting yourself off from the world. Because the king of wands can do that. He'll just be like, no, man, this is the way it's going to be. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to like... So look on my past. I'm going to look at this karmic wheel and be like, I don't care. <laughs> if you do that, you're going to be stuck for another couple of years, two and a half years while Saturn is in Capricorn. It's going to bring everything to light. Ooh. Four of swords. Yes. Healing, meditation, looking into your shadow self. While well, the sun is in Scorpio, while well, Jupiter is in Scorpio, but being really guarded with this sword underneath you. So, <clears throat> is this what you're going to do? You want to move forward, but you're going to do it on your own? This guy's all alone. But bam. And the Ace of Wands doesn't have to be huge doesn't have to be like a lump sum of money coming in. It doesn't have to be a brand new job. It doesn't mean like this huge epiphany of finally I know my truth and I'm just going to like run with it and like run away and live in the mountains or sing and dance like Maria and the Sound of Music. I don't know where that came from. I just heard it. It doesn't have to be huge. It could be something very small, an apology. It's just going to be something passionate within you that's going to come out. It's going to be a realization. And then you're going to want to act on it. Cool. 
Clear up some karma first. Open yourself up to it. Stop fighting the war. Stop looking in the past. Seeing how that war bit your ass and you don't want to do it anymore. Is there, I'm wondering if there's a card that flipped over. Maybe not. I might be seeing things. <clears throat> because you don't want to stay stagnant. You want to have that balance. I know the feeling. So if there's an air sign in your life who's really kind of like, you feel like it, this has been a continuous cycle over and over and over again. Could be your boss. What in this promotion? What And people, somebody else keeps getting it. Open up. Move on. If you need to find another job where you're more recognized, move on. It's a relationship. Either heal it or move on. Right? I mean, that's all we can really do. You got to be true to yourself. And in being true to yourself, you're being true to others. And having the strength to do it. This is also the Leo card. So we have Capricorn, we have Leo, we have an air sign. We have an earth sign. The knight is an earth sign. And we have you. But having that strength to open yourself to not being apathetic anymore, to open yourself to healing your past, your karma, gets you to the new beginning, the world. I mean, after you close your karma, don't you deserve a new beginning? After you speak the truth, after you apologize, after somebody apologized to you, after you say, I would like an apology for how you treated me, for telling me one thing and doing another. And it's funny because it doesn't really seem like it's just one thing that you want in life because there are pentacles here, there are emotions here, There's fast action, fire reaction, you know? It's like you want your entire life to be brand new and different because you feel different. You're starting to feel that Saturn moving out of your sun. It's close. It's like, what, a month and a week? A month and two weeks? And the sun being in your sign on the 22nd, 21st, might be the perfect time to do that because you will feel more confident. And Mercury, Mercury is still in your sign. Communication. You could have had like, you know, really blabbery communication. So we have the King of Cups. We have the water sign here. So it could be a Cancer that's coming along. But it could be that maybe the Queen of Swords is trying to pick two between two different people, but there's a new beginning somewhere. Or maybe you are super emotional and you are the King of Wands and the King of Cups. Because both of these guys have emotions. One's a little bit more fiery than the other, but they don't show it. Why would they? It's weak. Mm, it's not weak. Showing your emotions is like one of the strongest things that you could do because society says that that's weak, right? Choices. Seven of Cups. All of these choices look really good. Except for there's like a head there, like a severed, it's weird. Like up here in the, oop, over here in the corner. My camera's backwards. It looks like a severed, I mean, that's kind of gross, right? I don't know. Temptation. Enlightenment. Jewels. A crown. A lot of good choices a lot of evil choices but I think that working right now with Jupiter in your 12th house is really going to let you hone in on one of these which one will it be and I think in November 
you might start to realize which one you truly want. Which fantastic opportunity do you really want to go for? Because it makes you feel like you. Because you don't have to go through the war. Even if you have been going through the war, you don't have to, it can be a lot easier. So, karma. Let's work on the karma. I'm gonna work on my karma. There are people that I should apologize to and pride gets in the way of that and a king of wands has a lot of pride. And there are some people that I would like a very heartfelt apology from as well. But if I ask for it, then how is it heartfelt? So you need to let those people come to you. And if they don't, then what's the purpose? They really weren't supposed to be in your life, right? November, end of November. Those in the United States have a really great Thanksgiving. I like this. I like working on your karma. I just wish you guys wouldn't be so apathetic about it because you have good things coming. Um, and if you don't feel like you have good things coming, then manifest them, right? Get in a better mood. You know, I mean, I tell myself that all the time. It's a human thing that we do. We automatically want to look at the negative. Let's stop that. You know, um, so have a great Thanksgiving. Make sure you guys check out the November specials. Click on the box below. Um, all the recorded readings do have a discount on them. I'm also offering gift certificates for birthdays or for the holidays. Um, and I am going to start traveling the first weekend in December for in-person readings. My first one is actually going to be in a very small town called Woodbine, Iowa very small but it's going to be a really cool like occasion that a friend of mine put together like all sorts of stuff happening and um i do want to travel i'll be in florida in january and then i'll be traveling up the east coast as well so if you guys are in that area and you want to like put something together with your friends and i mean i'd love to meet you people you know it would be great to meet you guys in person so let me know if there is a spot that uh you'd like for me to visit and I'll see what I can do. We can work out the details. So give me an e you know, email me. Um, yeah, have a good holiday. Have a good Thanksgiving for those in the United States. Everybody else, have a really wonderful November. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.